Recently, on a quiet morning, the island of Crete shuddered as the earth groaned beneath the sea. In just seconds, a massive earthquake rippled through the Aegean, rattling windows, swaying buildings, and unsettling millions across Greece and its neighboring shores. But while this seismic jolt caused little visible damage, it echoed something far more alarming beneath the surface. An ancient fault line is awakening, flexing its destructive potential. Could this be a foreshock of something much larger to come? Crete sits atop one of the most dangerous tectonic zones in Europe, and it's a region with a terrifying legacy of megaquakes and tsunamis that have erased cities and rewritten coastlines. Scientists now warn that history could soon repeat itself, and that this recent quake may be just the beginning. Today, let's delve into the recent earthquake in Crete, uncovering the hidden tectonic forces shaping Greece, and the unsettling possibility that a catastrophic seismic event may be looming. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. In the early hours of May 22, 2025, the island of Crete was rattled awake by a deep, rumbling force from beneath the sea. At precisely 8.49 a.m. local time, the earth shook violently as a magnitude 6.1 earthquake struck just off Crete's northern coast, sending shockwaves through Greece. The tremor originated about 55 kilometers north of the island, at a depth of 37 kilometers beneath the seafloor. The European Mediterranean Seismological Center and the Geodynamics Institute of Athens quickly confirmed its magnitude and location. Although no major damage was reported in urban centers, the quake's reach was broad. It was felt across the southern Aegean, from Santorini to Rhodes, and even in parts of Turkey, Egypt, Cyprus, and Israel. Residents described the event as a violent but short-lived jolt, with dishes rattling, buildings swaying, and the eerie silence that follows such tremors lingering in the streets. Emergency management teams quickly canvassed vulnerable areas, especially older buildings that predated modern seismic codes. Thankfully, the lack of casualties was attributed to both the depth of the quake and Crete's relative preparedness. However, the calm that followed was deceptive. This quake was the second significant seismic event in a matter of days. Just a week earlier, a magnitude 5.7 tremor had struck the region. Taken together, they formed a disquieting pattern, one that hinted at a larger underlying tension in the Earth's crust. To understand why Crete is so seismically active, one must peer beneath the waves of the Mediterranean. Crete lies atop the Hellenic Arc, one of the most active subduction zones in Europe. Here, the African tectonic plate is slowly but inevitably diving beneath the Aegean microplate, a process that generates immense stress along fault lines. Unlike the better-known ring of fire around the Pacific Ocean, the Hellenic subduction zone doesn't frequently make global headlines, but it should. The convergence rate between the African and Aegean plates is around 4 to 5 centimeters per year, glacial by human standards, but tectonically intense. This motion causes periodic stress accumulation, and when that stress is suddenly released, earthquakes follow. The arc itself curves from western Greece to the Dodecanese Islands, passing south of Crete and is responsible for most of the major earthquakes in the region. In addition, the South Aegean Volcanic Arc, which includes the infamous Santorini caldera, sits just to the north, highlighting the region's complex, violent geologic structure. This isn't the first time Crete has been shaken violently. In fact, it has endured some of the most destructive earthquakes in Mediterranean history. The most infamous was the 365 AD earthquake, a megaquake estimated at magnitude 8.5. The quake struck near western Crete and caused a massive uplift of the island's western edge by nearly 9 meters. It triggered a tsunami that devastated cities across the Mediterranean, from Alexandria in Egypt to far-off Dalmatian coasts. The sea reportedly receded, exposing fish-laden seafloor before crashing back in waves that destroyed entire fleets. In 1303, another enormous quake, 
around magnitude 8.0, hit near Rhodes and Crete. It too triggered a devastating tsunami. Centuries later, in 1856, a quake near Heraklion with an estimated magnitude between 7.7 .7 and 8.3 leveled large parts of the city and left hundreds dead. This pattern suggests a clear and sobering truth. Crete experiences massive earthquakes every few centuries, often separated by periods of deceptive quiet. And with the last megaquake occurring in the 19th century, many seismologists now believe the region is entering another phase of elevated seismic risk. In seismology, a seismic gap is an area along a fault that has not experienced recent earthquakes, despite showing signs of tectonic stress. The subduction zone south of Crete is one such gap. Studies published by the National Observatory of Athens and the Institute of Geodynamics have noted that several segments of the Hellenic Arc have not ruptured in over 100 years. This quiet is not comforting, it is ominous. Seismologist Dr. Ephthymios Lekas, one of Greece's leading earthquake experts, warned in a recent briefing, this fault system is overdue. The stress has been accumulating for decades. While we cannot predict the exact time, the potential for a large magnitude earthquake is very real. Earthquakes of magnitude 7.5 to 8.5 are entirely possible here, and such an event would affect not only Crete, but also neighboring regions. The risk is not limited to shaking. Tsunamis could be triggered by undersea thrust faults or submarine landslides. In the worst-case scenario, coastal cities could be overwhelmed with only minutes of warning. Fortunately, Greece has taken major steps in seismic preparedness. Following devastating quakes in the 1990s and early 2000s, the government invested heavily in earthquake-resistant construction standards. Most new buildings in Crete are designed to withstand significant shaking, public awareness campaigns are regularly conducted, and emergency drills are standard in schools and government offices. However, weaknesses remain. Many rural villages in Crete are home to old stone houses, some centuries old, built without reinforcement. These could crumble under a strong earthquake. Moreover, infrastructure such as bridges, tunnels, and coastal roads, many of which were constructed during the post-war period, may be vulnerable due to outdated designs. Crete's vulnerability is compounded by its popularity. As one of Greece's top tourist destinations, the island sees millions of visitors annually. In the event of a major quake, hospitals and emergency services could be overwhelmed, especially during peak tourist seasons. In recent years, technological advances have provided new tools for earthquake monitoring. Greece is now part of a broader seismic network that includes data sharing with Italy, Turkey, and Cyprus. The HELPO system, the Hellenic Plate Observation System, uses satellite GPS stations to monitor plate movements in real time. Additionally, early warning systems are being tested in the Aegean. These systems detect the first, faster-moving seismic waves before the more destructive waves arrive. In ideal conditions, they can offer up to 10 to 30 seconds of warning, a narrow window, but one that can mean the difference between life and death. Seismologists also rely on seafloor seismometers and ocean bottom pressure sensors to monitor tsunami potential. These systems are expensive and sparse, but investments are increasing as awareness grows. Though centered in the Mediterranean, a major earthquake in Crete would send shockwaves far beyond Greece's borders. The eastern Mediterranean is a strategic crossroads for global shipping lanes, energy pipelines, and undersea internet cables. A high-magnitude quake could disrupt critical infrastructure that connects Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa, triggering economic ripple effects across continents. LNG terminals and oil transport facilities in the region could be severely damaged, affecting fuel supply chains and energy markets. A tsunami generated by an undersea rupture could devastate coastlines in countries as far away as Egypt, Israel, and southern Italy. In an increasingly interconnected world, a disaster in one corner can send tremors through the global system. The threat beneath Crete isn't just a regional concern, it's a global one. Therefore, preparedness must extend beyond borders. 
the recent earthquake off Crete's coast may not have caused devastation, but its significance should not be underestimated. It is the Earth's way of reminding us that the forces that shaped the Aegean are still very much at work. With a legacy of megaquakes, a restless fault system, and rising concerns among geologists, Crete sits on a geological knife's edge. The science is clear. The region is ripe for another major seismic event. The question is not if, but when. This reality doesn't call for fear. It calls for readiness. Investments in early warning systems, seismic retrofitting, public education, and international coordination are crucial. Because when the Earth does decide to move again, seconds may be all that separates tragedy from survival. As the Aegean laps quietly at Crete's shores once more, the silence is haunting. Beneath the surface, the plates continue their slow, inevitable dance. And the next chapter in this island's seismic story is still being written.